and today we're going to be uh, looking at a pretty ex pretty uh, cool figure that I'm really excited to bring you guys. Uh, this guy was definitely on my list of Transformers animated figures that I definitely wanted. Um, definitely, definitely part of a elite group, <laughs> um, which this would be Transformers Deluxe Class Elite Guard Blur. This guy is awesome. I just absolutely love the integration of the blue racer that Bumblebee fought. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is like so early in the morning. It is like 1.35 right now. Like you guys know it's going to be good. Don't mind the movie playing in the background. That is uh, Catching Fire. I got really bored, so I needed to do something. Uh, so today... We're going to be doing animated blur, um, so right off the bat we're going to start off with some scale comparisons with his other compadre from Elite Guard. Nope, nope, nope. Jazz, there he is in vehicle mode, I mean, you know, old vehicle mode, spiel. He's actually very sleek and slim for uh, his mold. Uh, real quick, I gotta point some stuff out. There is amazing detail in this. Um, if you actually look at the back tires, these tires, they're hollow. Um, and they do roll like rolling things should. Uh, they have, let's take a look at these tires real fast. They have three sections. This piece is part of the foot. This other piece on the other side of him is part of the foot. And the middle piece is the tire. So I think that's really cool. Um, now he does have a really cool weapon feature in vehicle mode. Now he does have this little button here on the top. You push it and... A little blade pops out! Yay! A little blade. A little blade. Um, one more character we will do for scale comparison is. Whoop, nope, 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 dropping this guy. Uh, animated Ratchet. Pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the transformation and see how cool he actually is. Um. Sorry, I, I was doing a little thing from Optibotomus. I just kind of got bored. So, let's look down. Now, Animated Blur is a really cool character. Now, this little... The one thing that I really do have... The one nitpick I have about this figure is this back section. It's hollow. And you can totally tell that all of this just... It, ugh, it's just hollow. There's nothing I can do about it. So, to transform this guy, pretty simple. I'm going to move this back a bit. It's pretty simple. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this top, this, uh, this section here. You're going to want to open this, open these up a bit and then push up and then this will become its own separate weapon. So there's that. And then you pretty much just expose some of his joints and that's not really the big problem with this guy. So to start things off, you're going to want to come back, come to the back section of the car, untab the wheel from here, bring it down, and rotate this around. Okay? Do the same on the other side. Rotate, rotate around. Do that. And then right after that, you're going to want to untab said legs from the front section, like right there. Then you're going to want to swing those down a bit further. Then you're going to want to uh, pull down and pull to the side and this will later become this will become his arms Come do that pull to the side and then what then you're gonna want to lift them up a bit and then you're going to want to take them and shimmy them up and Fair warning this leg is very very is very very uh, wobbly uh, This leg is not not as wobbly, but this one is just on my copy let, let me know um, if any anybody else has this problem with blur, with just the straight leg droppage. But um, so then, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to come down here. You're gonna want to take this leg, rot um, bend it in, and then like kind of it's kind of really it's kind of difficult to do this. Bring it down and rotate it around. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. Bring down, bring down. Then at that point, 
At this point, you're going to want to take this front, this uh, back section that was part of the brake light. You're going to want to take it and fold it up, and then take this back section and fold it back. And then you form his toes. Bring it forward, flip it back, and then you're going to want to take these, and once you've shimmied them up a little bit, you're going to want to push them in so you hear a nice click. One of mine is really tight. Come on. Oh, well, first thing, I guess it would help if you folded this down to reveal his head, rotate his head, and then try doing this again, which mine's really difficult to do. There we go. This one does it just fine. This one does it just fine. This one's got a big issue. And then, after you're done with that, you're going to want to take these back sections, rotate them around, and there you have freed up his arm. Do the same thing, rotate, freeing his arm. And here we have Blur in his robot mode. Like, as you can see, you can tell which one wants to move and which one doesn't move, want to move. So, if I can do this, bring it all the way back, and that happens, I can, a little floor polish should fix it right up. But, anyways, I really dig this character. I really think this character is an amazing version of Blur. This is actually quite possibly the only version of Blur that I will ever own other than Generations Blur, which is okay, but this one's better by a long shot. I mean, yes, this does have the gimp leg, which I can literally just do that and it'll drop. Uh, you can't get very too many poses with mine, at least, because of this gimp leg. Um, now, as for storage for the weapon, it actually does have storage, and it does store on his back. Uh, as you can see on his back, there are these two ports on his back, like there, and there's two pegs on the back of this. You can take it and totally just come on, peg in. There we go. What parts forming? Shh, I know, I know. But, anyways, animated blur. Absolutely love this figure. I this is actually one that I was kind of bummed I never got when it did come out. But um, this guy absolutely is one of my favorite adaptations of Blur. I mean, Titan's Return is a close is a close second. I don't own Titan's Return because I just I just saw no reason to get Titan's Return other than really just it, what is it? It's a detachable head, which all of them have, and, and that that's it. I mean, but. Other than that, it's not really that big of a deal. Now, he d he can hold his weapon in robot mode, so you're going to want to push that little thing in. He has pegs on both of his arms right here, and he does have a peg right there. And you can totally have him sporting the packaged look, I suppose. But I absolutely love Blur. This guy just absolutely rocks. I think this guy is a great addition to my animated collection. Um, I managed to get this guy not for a bargain, but I got him for a pretty decent price. I got him for 14 Whoop, whoop, whoop. See? That leg right there. This leg right here. But this one's kind of loose, but it, it'll thicken up as, the, as it goes, and then this one's just straight loose. But, um... But yeah, um, this is one that I was kind of bummed that I never got the original version of, but, I mean, I think, you know, this was, a, this character actually, um, the Blue Racer, I suppose, in, uh, Transformers Animated, they never intended for it to be Blur. They actually intended for it to be, um, a different character. I can't remember which character, but they did intend for it to be a di another, a different character. Um... I think it was supposed to be like some sort of uh, G1 reference or something. I don't remember. But this guy was not supposed to be the Blue Racer at first. But later designs proved that he would have been better for the Blue Racer. Because number one, he was fast. He's faster than Bumblebee. Speaking of Bumblebee. Let's get down to some more comparisons. Here he is with Elite Guard version of Bumblebee. And here he is with Ratchet in robot mode. If Ratchet will stay transformed. And the final one here he is with Animated Jazz. And I absolutely love Animated Jazz. And I do love Animated Elite Guard Blur. I mean, these guys were pretty cool. 
you know, I kind of feel like this is this is the way I feel about Blur is that I kind of feel like they sh they should have made Blur a Cyber Ninja. I really feel like they should have made Blur a Cyber Ninja because I think you would just I think you would pass instantly. Um, the only problem that I see with uh, Blur being a Cyber Ninja is he can't master processor over matter. Um, I, I that's the one thing that I can't see him doing because he's so speedy quick at everything. He's got to he's got to get that done. He's got to get it get it, you know. So first and you know the first, what's the first thing he says? The name's not Zippy. In fact, I don't ever remember that I've ever been called. Or uh, oh, I screwed it up. The name's not Zippy. Um, in fact, I don't ever think I've met a bot named Zippy, which can only mean that you made reference to my speed, which is pretty accurate, but but uh, lacks a certain creativity. The name's Blur. No, <laughs> I I could go on for days about Blur. I could just I could I could just go on for days about Blur. Um, but yeah, so. I think I dig Blur. The only thing that I really, the only real nitpick I have about Blur in his robot mode is these skinny, skinny legs. Look at those! Like, that's really, really skinny. Like, that's really skinny. I mean, it makes it, they made it look better in the front, but the sides, them, them just skinny. <laughs> I mean, that's the only real nitpick I have with this figure, but other than that, I just dig it. I mean,. This character is absolutely a gorgeous addition, and I think this was a really good version of Blur. Uh, the Takara version is um, has slightly lighter paints for um, his arms and his crotch. Pretty much all the black parts you see, other than the wheels and this piece right here, um, they pretty much just lightened up the colors a little bit. So, yeah, that's pretty much what they did. Um... That's that's for the Takar Takar version at least. Um, I also and um, there were two repaints of this. Um, one was a slight retool. Um, it was for the Transformers Collector Club uh, Cheetor, I believe. It was for Cheetor. That was a pretty cool figure um, back in the day. Well, maybe not back in the day. It's still a, it's still a collectors club exclusive, I think. So you can you can sign up and try it. You can see if you can get it. I'm not sure. Um, and then there was a cancelled version of this figure, which was, um, uh, it was the, uh, um, Vortex Blur, which was, which pretty much sported a black blur. It, like, like, this thing was black from head to toe. Like, I cannot get this guy, oh, oh my gosh, you guys are witnessing a rare moment, oh, no, 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 crap. I was gonna say, you guys are witnessing a rare moment on camera, Blur was actually standing up. I mean, you know, see, without having to move forward, because this stupid waist joint, the stupid ball joint, the little floor polish will put it right back up there. But, um, happy Sunday, guys. It is 1.47 in the morning um, of Sunday, October the 29th, I believe. Yeah, 29th. So, yeah, I mean... This, I mean, I, I gotta tell you guys, this, I really feel like they shouldn't, they should not have killed Blur off in the series. Yes, they did, they did bring him back, uh, but they brought him back in a different way than I thought they would, but, it, see, there you go, he won't stand up. Just, won't stand up. Sorry, my cat's making a noise over there. Um, but yeah, so, uh, can't get this guy to stand up. There we go. I'd, I'd rather deal with dangling legs than a unbalanced <laughs> version of him, but, uh, so, anyways, this is Thomas Fennel 1 saying, don't forget to subscribe for more content, don't forget to leave a comment down below about what Transformers animated characters and or Transformers characters that you see over on that wall of awesomeness over there. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment about what goof video you want to see. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to get it done with iStar552 as he was he was not home, so I had to I had to try and figure something out, and it didn't work out. So um, I will do a goof video for you guys this week, um, but, but on Halloween. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, but um, I will do a goof video for you guys on Halloween, so you guys aren't left out in the dark. Um, but 
I still think this guy's a pretty cool character, um, and I really think this guy, they, they really ended animated before its time was up, um, they had a fourth season planned, they had a bunch of cancelled characters, including Vortex Blur, and they had a bunch of other characters that I will go through on another day. Uh, there was also a TFCC exclusive that um, just recently surfaced that it was a cancelled figure, which was Sorry Sumdak. Those of you who, for those of you who did watch Animated, um, Sari is pretty much a protoform that was fused with human DNA, and she became she later became a transformer. Uh, she was the the uh, the mold that they used for the um, animated Sari Sumdak figure was a uh, which was a pretty heavy repaint and a slight remold. Of Generations Windblade, so uh, if you're a Windblade fan, uh, that's definitely a bummer for you, and I'm sorry, but I thought it was pretty cool, but I just, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why that was going on, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, my cat is making noise. Like, I keep hearing something as I'm talking, and it's my cat making noise right there. He's sitting on the door. Like, you know what? Here, let me show you guys what's up. My cat is sitting on the door. He's asleep. I'm not going to bug him. But, anyways, animated blur, good figure. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to subscribe to SR552. Don't forget to subscribe to Take Along Productions, as I know they're both working on some pretty cool stuff. And goodbye!